Hello, donkeys. So, here's the thing. I'm running low on sand. This stuff is mostly empty. Um, my desert isn't that massive. And I need a ton of glass for the base. And I need a ton of sand to drain the ocean. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get glass a different way. That won't deplete my sand supplies. And if I go over here, there's... Where's the guy? This guy. You sell glass for emeralds. And this is a trade that will come from everyone that has a lectern job. So, we'll be... Uh, Getting glass from those guys. And the way we'll be getting emeralds in massive quantities is by trading, of course. And the thing that we're going to be trading is going to be uh, mostly iron, but also sugarcane. Or paper, more specifically. So, that's what, that's what we'll be constructing today, is a uh, paper farm. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to be honest, as usual, I don't have an exact plan, but I think we'll, uh, we'll manage to figure something out. And, uh, I want the paper farm to be near here so that, uh, it's usually generated in the world. So, uh, let's start by placing some blocks. Get this stuff out of here. We don't need you anymore because we want automatic paper. Anyway, let's start uh, by getting some collection system going. And I think what I want to do is... So, I don't know if when you push paper with... Actually, we can test that out. Maybe that's a better idea. Uh, what happens if you push sugarcane with a piston? Um, let's get some blocks. Does it land in the block right in front of it? Like if I have a channel right in front of it, does it land in here or does it poop over the channel? How am I going to activate this? I guess this will do. Wrong way around, of course. That's annoying. Alright, so, does the paper land somewhere useful or not? I believe it landed, like... Where does it even land? Let's try it again. That one landed in the channel, that's for sure. That's good. Yeah, it's another test. And you landed right on the block where you're standing. Um, so yeah, maybe we need to use some... Uh, some slime blocks to push the, the things. Maybe that's the thing. Let me go grab some slime blocks real quick. Alright, so let's first try out with a sticky piston and a regular block. What does that do? That at least pushes the one in there, but it does uh, leave the block behind. That's not a problem, though. We can work with that. Um, so I guess we'll, uh, we'll work with that. No problem. But the thing that I'm mostly interested in is the fact that it doesn't push it over more than one block. So that's good. That's what I want. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go both directions, but I'm going to start over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks. And there will be water on here, and then on the side of this, 
right here will be our sugarcane on both sides so on this side as well and then let's see our pistons will be right here then with a probably iron block in front and there will be an observer over here wrong way around of course <sighs> damn it observer right there so once this activates we want the piston to pulse uh, but we don't really want it to be an instant pulse that would uh, leave the block behind do these things travel through blocks though that's the question yes it does that's interesting okay good 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 um And then how are we going to lengthen the pulse slightly is the question. Alright, so let's take a look. We want this to be stackable, but I don't really care if uh, one plant growing all the way to the top activates the entire row. So that's cool if that happens. So, I guess we could do like this. And then just route it back like this. It's a bit convoluted, but it'll work. And then we can put some dust down like so. And then if we have a repeater going backwards this direction, don't have any repeaters on me right now. It should be a good enough pulse to uh, do the thing. So I'll quickly go grab some repeaters and test it out before we uh, expand the farm any further. Alright, so I've got myself some repeaters. So let's try this thing out. When it grows up there it takes the blocks backwards same as when the block gets deleted but that's the point actually is that the point and let's quickly test out what happens when it's actually actually a reed in front once it grows okay it just uh just the one pulse that's good um so let's uh get to expanding this thing i guess And I'm basically going to do it by sections of eight because that's how long a water stream will be. So right after this block, it will go up one block and then another eight. Um, and I don't know if that's uh, the best idea to do it that way, but that's the way I'm doing it. So anyway, it's... Uh, Decently stackable. It does activate all the ones on the same. I'm out of words. Jeez. Give me one sec. All right. So that should be one section done. Now let's check out how it functions when we uh, put two sections next to each other. Maybe. Uh, there will be some interference, I think not, but it's always good to uh, make sure. So first of all, the repeaters need to go on that level. Repeaters in my inventory. And then pistons out in front of them and if this doesn't work we can always uh, just leave one block in between them anyway so uh, 
it should work in the end anyway, so. So here's one thing uh, I may have to think about. This will connect over here. But I can just block it off like that. And I think that's what we're going with. Even though it kind of looks ugly over here. It'll uh, make for a better end product. I mean, having just areas that are filled with redstone like this are not the prettiest thing anyway. So, I mean, we could just do it like this and it will be uh, enough to activate all the pistons anyway. Like, if we got rid of a few of these, I'm pretty sure that this will activate all of them. Let's just check. Yeah, it's... It's fine to keep some rest on this stuff. Maybe you can even do it like... Uh, like this. That'll save even more redstone dust. Yeah, let's go for that. I mean, it's not that redstone is hard to come by. It's just... This is... Uh, Less resource intensive, so uh, we'll go for it. So anyway, uh, on with the building, there needs to be observers right here. And I need to place them like this, because otherwise they'll uh, not observe the right thing. Blocks in front here. And now that will activate these ones. Great. Very great. And let's uh, put a torch in here. Torch is done here as well, probably. Um, don't want to take any risks, so I'm just putting uh, torches on here. Anyways, I'll uh, do this for, I think, two more sections and then I'll also copy it to the other side. And then, uh, then we'll see uh, if it actually works. We'll maybe AFK it for a bit. Maybe that's a good idea. See how it performs. Anyway, see you guys in a bit. God damn it, I just ran out of iron blocks! Woo! Anyway, um, just about finished this uh, first half. I still want to mirror it to the other side as well. And then if we need to, I want to add more floors to this thing. So I don't want to expand it beyond the current length. Uh, I think what we have right now... Uh, 32 blocks in length is uh, just right. It's just right. Don't want to go too much longer. Don't want to be shorter either. So uh, 32 blocks this way. Gonna be 32 blocks the other way at some point as well. And uh, I think before I gonna add more layers, I wanna see how efficient this thing is. Though, like, um, well, first of all, how much it even produces in the first place and then furthermore uh, how much paper gets lost in the machine because obviously I know it's not going to be perfect there's going to be a lot of paper getting lost uh, or sugarcane getting lost inside of the machine so uh, maybe before I go too crazy with a huge Sugarcane farm. Maybe it's a good idea to design a better variant at some point. Like, for example, I could put a roof on here, maybe. Maybe that's a good idea. Or, ooh, a glass roof would be cool. 
Anyway, let's uh, quickly grab some more reeds as well because I want to fill this thing in for now. Because uh, I don't think I'll be coming in here quite often. Alright, that should be good. And then for now, since it's only one site for now, it's... Uh... Oops. Do, 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 do. Since it's only one site, we're just going to have a singular hopper going into a chest. Should be good. Won't be perfect, but uh, hey, what you gonna do? Let's put some blocks out here as well, so it doesn't uh, fly out from the force of the water. But yeah, once we're going to uh, mirror it to the other side, we're going to uh, have some water going... Actually, maybe not even go having water go down the center. It's uh, fine to keep the hopper down here. Anyway, I uh, quickly want to reassure you guys as well that uh, the paper is not going to be the main source of uh, getting glass because the main source of getting glass is going to be iron ingots the paper we need to reset the guys that are willing to sell us glass so if we're going to take a look at these guys real quick again there's a uh, the guy that sells us the good thing, the glass, he's also a guy that does paper trades. So that way we can uh, we can reset his trades by giving him a bit of glass or a bit of paper instead. The way we're going to be uh, getting our uh, thingies is through these guys. We're first going to have to give them a bunch of coal and iron, or a bunch of coal and emeralds, or one of the two. I don't really care to get them to level 2. And uh, once they're level 2, we're uh, going to be able to trade them all the iron that we have, basically. And then as well, uh, I don't actually know what kind of trades we need for those guys to reset. Wait, which one was it? One of these guys. One of these guys. I guess we're going to have to give him a few emeralds back in order to reset the trade maybe or... Uh, we'll see by then what kind of traits these guys have. There's uh, there's other things that we can give them as well. Anyways. I think this was a bit of a shorter episode than, uh, than normal. But that's fine. Uh, I had a couple too long episodes in a row so... Uh, I guess it's... Uh, Good for you guys to, to uh, be able to keep up, you know. Anyway, next episode we're going to be getting more sponges again. So be on the lookout for that. Anyways, see you guys later. Toodles!